Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I've got my lovely Alex. Now a while back we made a under the sea design didn't we Alex? It, it didn't quite go according to plan did it? No. So we decided we were going to try this again. So I got a number of different things and Alex has designed this set of nails and he is going to be helping. Um, so I've got this lovely glitter called Mermaid which I thought would be lovely with it. We like Mermaid don't we? Mm -hmm. And then we've got some actual mermaids too, you know. I think we used mermaid in the last one, or was it deep sea? It might have been deep sea. Right, put your mask on, please. Where's my mask? There's oh. your mask. How do I stick it on? Oh! oh. <laughs> how do I stick it on? Which one you don't stick it on, you just put it around your ears. Oh. You know how to put your mask on. Stop being silly. I haven't put one on before. <laughs> Not your <laughs> I can't. Okay, are you, are you good? Yeah. Right. Keep your pad over by you then. So we know what we're doing. Now, first things first, we're going to use, it's called Infinity Lagoon by Nail Nails. And it's got that lovely kind of shimmer to it. And whilst to do that, Alex is going to cut up some of this ripple foil. Come on, you, Alex. Paper. Yeah. Can I start doing it now? Yeah. You do that while I get this base colour on all of these nails. Look at that. Oh. Why do you not need a mask? Well, I, I generally do wear a mask, but you're wearing it at the moment, so... Don't you have more? Oh dear, Oliver and Daddy are about to have a little um, argument. little argument upstairs because he's just running him his bath while me and Alex sit here to do this. What am I doing on this pinky, Alex? Uh, where's the pinky? This one. Yeah. Um, so gems at the top, then the ripple paper at the bottom. Okay, so how are we doing with that ripple paper? Have you cut me a little bit yet? Yeah, I've got three bumps. Three bumps. Oh, oh. Mm, okay, right. Um. So how do, how do you want this to go then? Down the side. Like that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Down one side, then the gems go down the other side. Okay. I'm just gonna stick that into the wet acrylic then. Then any bit which is left, I'll just cut off. I'm okay. just gonna. That. Do you want me to do some more? Yeah, we're going to need another piece. I'll do it slightly bigger. Because it's hey, we don't need it quite so long. About that length, I think, will be good for the other one that we're doing in that. Oh, right. the waves are slightly smaller. I've got, a better idea. I've got a better idea for this wave. Okay. But it's going to be different. So now on the ring finger and the pointy finger, you want full glitter, yeah? And then we're going to use some of the mermaid transfers, mm. aren't we? No, um, I think it's this finger, mommy, this finger next to the pinky. Yeah, it's that'll be glitter, your ring finger. Full glitter, but yep. then middle, um, full netting. Um, and then chrome or pigment. Okay, so this one I think is now set up. So do you want to just cut that one down? Yeah. Okay, see, so just that little bit on the end is too much. So if you take that one, remember, don't touch the actual thing. Venice, it's quite dry anyway, but... So this middle finger, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put a bit of this colour down, and then I'm just going to let that set up a bit, because then we're going to come in with some clear and the netting and make the kind of like fish cake... Fish... Fish cakes? <laughs> fish... Fish scales. No, mermaid scales. Yeah, but it's like, it's oh yeah, it's like, you know, like on their tail, the mermaids. Yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah, that's what I meant. 
You said fish. Well, you know, they are kind of fish like. Right, so what am I doing for. Ah, that one's for that one, okay. What? Your, um, the other one you've cut out, your wave. No. It's going on this finger. No, it's going on the thumb. No, it isn't. Oh, yeah, the little paper. Oh, yeah. We can have it on the thumb if you want. Now's the time to change mind. Yeah, thumb. Because okay. it literally goes exactly on it. And there's literally just a tiny bit. I'm sticking off. Do you want me to stick the pinky on? Do you want me to stick the yeah, pinky back on? Add a little bit more to that one as well. Do you want me to stick the pinky back on? Uh, yeah, in a sec. <laughs> Ew, don't do that. It was near my eye. It's creepy. <laughs> Daddy likes to do that. Yes, he does, but that doesn't mean I do. Are you going to put that pinky back on then? You said brain. Yeah. Mm. And you have waited a minute. I'm just going to wait for you to finish this bit. Okay. Just in case I get acrylic on me. I don't want acrylic on me. I won't get acrylic on you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the thumb then. Big, giant teeth thumb. Is that enough? Yeah, that'll do. Don't worry. Stop tugging the hand. <laughs> Need to get that ripple paper ready. I've got it. I cut it out ages ago. Yeah, but you need to get ready to hand it to me because I need to put it in. Unless this is still wet. Okay. Either sing nicely or don't at all. Right, where's that ripple paper? I can't see, I can't see. <laughs> well, you don't want the mask right up. Oh. This one, I can have it like that. Mm. Oh, there you are. Why is it going dark now? Oh, it looks like I'm gonna have to cut one of the waves off. Yeah. It happens. Panic not. Right. Shall I chop it now? No, it needs to set up for a bit first. Oh, can I do the netting? So, what we need to do, you can cut me out a chunk, bit of netting, please. How much? Uh, see how that strip's gone there? Can yeah. you cut out that strip for me? Yeah. Where? That's it, just down there. Just down here? Yeah. Beautiful, because that will be plenty. Shall I cut it into up into smaller bits? Nope. idea that you want to try and do this in one bead but I can never do that so it's going to have to be a more than one Mm, 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 mm. You 
Beautimus. Beautimus. So what we have to do with that is we need to put it. Can I do it? No, no, not yet. We've got to we've got to put it in here first. Just put it in a bit of clear acrylic just to coat it a little bit. I'll wait for this to go matte. Does it look matte or is it still shiny? Still shiny. Mm. It's not quite there yet. It is now, it is now. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Right. Can you poke those fingers down for me? Oops. That's right. I don't know what I'm going to do. Sorry, what shall I just take the fingers off? That probably would have been a better idea, wouldn't it? Mm-hmm. Want me to take them off now? Hang on, I'm having enough of a fight just with this at the moment. Oh, yeah, Mum, you know those um shells we used in the last video, in the mm -hmm. last one of these? We can use those and stick it on the edge. No, that was part of a problem last time, wasn't it? And stick it on the very edge, like hanging off, and it'll look like a mermaid tail. An actual mermaid tail. Let's see if this is going to come off for me. Just gently pulling, pulling, pulling. Oh, you might come off. Come on. Come on. Yay! Okay, there we go. Right, so I'm just going to let that set and then we're going to put some pigment in that. Right, so this thumb needs cutting down a little bit, doesn't it? I did go off. That made a weird noise. It did make a weird noise. Which it didn't right. make last time. Right, so I'm going to cap the rest of these while that is um, setting up. Okay, so those have been capped. They've been filed. This one has not been capped, okay? I've already done it in clear acrylic and built it up. So what we're going to do with this one is chrome. Yeah, we're going to we're going to rub the chrome in it and then we're going to top coat over the top. Now, normally when you chrome, you do the top coat, then you chrome, then you put the top coat in. But what I'm thinking is I'm I want it to kind of to go into these ridges. Okay, so that, that's what I want to try. Because if we put the top coat, the top coat's kind of going to fill the ridges. And obviously we don't we don't want that, do we? Mm -mm. So if I was to Yeah, that just goes in the ridges. Pop that in there. Hopefully. It'll give it that. So you're not brushing it on to make it chrome. Just no, adding your chrome just powder Just adding it wood. into there to make it shine. Then you're going to add the top coat, which stops it from falling out. Yeah, and then I might add a bit more top, um, chrome on there afterwards. Now, oh, whilst I'm doing that bit, uh, water decal, let's get the first one into soak. Where's the top coat? Oh, we need to plug my lamp in. Uh, where's me? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I don't think that's the right one. Yeah. No. It's here. Oh, I might get it this time. Right, I'm going to take this one off. Take them off, take them off. Take them. Let's see if this works. It may not work. I don't know. It's just a theory. That makes it, that looks cool. Uh, is the top, is the thing still on it? I think it's still on. Yep, and obviously just wipe your brush before you put it back in the top coat, otherwise it'll get all creamy. Okay, you see? So it just makes it show up that bit more. So, we're going to pop that one in the lamp and give that a cure and then where am i so this is the one let's see if that one's ready yep okay put the next one in the water oh that's the next one so you, do you have to be really really gentle well, you know what we've forgotten don't you what bit of paste gel Mm -hmm. 
know what, I always forget that part. Whilst we're here, we need to cut the, this one down a little bit as well, actually. Just, oh, I'm just turning it the right way around. Why are you using mine? Because those are the ones that are closest to me. The thing's done, do you want me to take it out? No, just leave it there for a sec. When you're cutting out your water decals, you need to get a bit closer. Okay. Is a bit still high now? Yeah. Yep. Grab it. Okay. You got it? Yeah. Awesome. I don't know where it's gone. It's all right. All right, so that one on there. That's why it kept coming up and didn't fit. I'll go on. Yep, we just needed that bit of base coat. To stick it on. Yep. And then, oh, we need that one. Oh, get him, in, get him out. I can't get him out. What's the other one? There it is. Oh, get him. Pop the next one in, and we're still missing one. You haven't cut enough. How many? Have we need we something else for the thumb. Another one of these little... That's the fun. Yeah, we're going to do that on this one. Where are my scissors? You stole my scissors. <gasps> How dare you imply such a thing. Mm. Right, that one's come out. I'll we'll put that one back on. I nearly cut into another thing. <laughs> Done it. Do you want me to stick it in? Is that good enough? Hang on a minute, Moomin. I'm not Moomin. Or Monkey. You are Moomin to me sometimes. I knew you do. Yeah, you're a noodle as well, but right, we need to cut these. Uh, you want that one? Yeah. Okay, pop it in the Is water. That uh, yeah, that's, that's nice and close. Good. Awesome. That's oh no, I was looking in the wrong way. Doesn't matter. No. no it, it doesn't matter. Don't worry. Panic not, my little noodle. Yeah. Yeah, you called me noodle. Yeah. This time. I know. It's a bit confusing life, you know. Do you want some more chrome on that or do you want to leave it as it is? More chrome. It makes more shiny. More chrome, mother. More chrome. More shine. More, the more chrome, the more shine. It is true. And also, the more glitter, the more shine. The more top coat, the more shine. That's that is right, though. Mhm. Mm because the more glitter, the more shiny. Yep. And you I thought you wanted a um. I didn't think you wanted another one of these on there. That's a different one. It's a different one. Okay. Anyway, they are mermaids. Okay. Oh, I could have done a seahorse. You've already got a seahorse on here. No, that's a unicorn. No, it, it definitely isn't a unicorn. It is a seahorse, I can assure you. Mummy, look. That's a seahorse. Oh, okay. That's a unicorn. Oh, okay. I wasn't aware that there were mu unicorns under the sea. Well, if you looked at the picture... All right, there's no need to be rude, thank you. I was not being rude. Well, it sounded like you are being rude. It? Right. Let's put another layer on top of off. that. And do you want me to stick it in the lamp? No, the whole. I'm just going to bring the lamp to the hand because all of them now need a cure, and then we're going to sort out our gems.
Okay, so we're going to come in with these um, kind of C gems. Um, Alex is giving me more instructions as to <laughs> where he would like everything to go. There was some discussions about the fact that I can't actually fit things in certain places. Um, he's done really, really well with this set. I am, I'm very chuffed with what he's uh, come up with. Because like I say, I just bought the items. He decided what he wanted to use where we had a good chat but pretty much like a consultation with your client and um and this is what i came up with and throughout the process as you can see i'm having a chat with him we're deciding what we want to go where and the the design kind of evolved from there so i'm super chuffed with him obviously yeah, i've sped this up so i'm using my chi gel as normal and I, then i will put top coat over the top of it <laughs> more discussions about where stuff's going to go so i'm going to top coat over um all the other nails as well as we're going along i'm pretty chuffed with that um with the scales i quite like those and alex was super chuffed as well and we really hope you guys have enjoyed watching us create together um it may not be everybody's cup of tea but for others, you may enjoy it. I think it's really important to get the kids involved. It's creativity, it's art. Um, you know, crap on a roll striping tape is great for cards and <laughs> stuff like that as well. So we, we try and we try and do different things and, and come up with different things to do and play with. And he really, really wanted to do another design. So uh, I say I really hope that you guys have enjoyed this video i'm not gonna lie it's been a bit of a challenge for me um yeah i, I laughed and, with somebody else and said he's my worst client because <laughs> he's so picky and the problem is he doesn't understand that certain bits don't fit in particular you know certain places and things don't work the way he wants them to work um but no on a whole i really enjoy it and at the moment he's actually uh He's making me a new glitter. Mm. Got some leftover glitter from my sister and he found some um, others that were the leftover little bits in the pack. And he goes, Mommy, Mommy, are you using these? I was like, no. He's like, can I have them? So I'm like, yeah, okay. And uh, I'm, I'm doing my set of nails this weekend that Trey has designed for me. And he kind of went, oh, Mommy, you know that, that set you're doing? He said, I've made you a glitter. I was like, that, that is, and it's a beautiful glitter. It does not go with my design, but it is a beautiful glitter. So, um, <laughs> I think I might save that for another, another video. Who knows? Who knows? Thank you guys for watching and we will see you in the next one. Bye.